Okay, Houston, here's the uh, SCS 128 crew on the mid deck. After uh, crew wake up, you can see everybody's getting going. Danny and uh, Jose were making us some ex excellent breakfast burritos, and uh, everybody's getting cleaned up uh, and ready to go to work this day. All right, uh, and now Jose's going to tell you about the NC2 uh, burn we did. Here we go, uh, ready to get ready for the burn and uh, to show what our thrust is like. Uh, we're going to leave a uh, timer floating there, and you're going to see it's going to come towards me, and uh, I'll catch it like a uh, good catcher in baseball. Okay, CJ's getting ready for the burn, and there it goes. Oh, lies. And he's out. While they were doing the burn upstairs, uh, downstairs in the mid deck, people were setting up the ergometer. Uh, to do workout is even more important in space than it is on Earth. We don't get to use our muscles very much. And here you see us uh, trying to get these pieces together like a puzzle. But uh, after a couple of trial and error, we eventually filled it out. And uh, while we were doing that, actually burned upstairs, and suddenly all the things were flying away from us. But they had given us a heads up, so we were warned. Yes, uh, on the mid deck we have cleaned up uh, now compared to yesterday. We had a lot of uh, bags, things, and that. Then the uh, chief of the mid deck got things really nicely cleaned out. Today was the uh, inspection since it was flight day two, and we pulled the OBSS out of. Uh, off the starboard side of the orbiter and completed the inspection of both the uh, both sides, the starboard and port. We also did a nose cap inspection. We took turns uh, playing R1 with the other two helping with the scans and recording. It's a pretty full day. We start early in the morning and it takes most of the day to get through it all. Then a lot of the work is done on the ground as they uh, take all of our images and the data and begin to analyze it. One of our uh, big chores up here is getting all the video and audio equipment set up to not only record but ship things to the ground. Lots of connections, uh, lots of those are video uh, converter boxes and power boxes, and uh, there are just many of them, uh, maybe uh, eight or nine different ways to record things and uh, ship stuff to the ground. And so uh, we finally got that all, uh, all together, I think, by the end of the uh, middle of today and uh, got everything we needed. Okay, you see that down the mid deck again. We finally got the ergometer all set up, and this is a, actually it's a manual adjustment knob. And uh, you can see that uh, space is a lot of fun. If you're not having fun in space, and uh, you're obviously doing something wrong. But while we were downstairs getting things configured for uh, basically our on orbit today, again uh, the guys were up on top, uh, Pat, Kevin, and Jose, uh, doing the inspection. That is a that's a really long day, as Pat mentioned. Uh, and uh, it's very, a very uh, hard task to do, but they did a really great job today. But as uh, Christopher mentioned earlier, you know, we, we uh, try and combat the uh, uh, issues associated with uh, being in space. And you can see here CJ taking advantage of the work that we did with the ergometer. He was the first one to jump on it, and here he is working out. And then today we spent uh, quite a bit of time working on uh, EMU checkout or checking out the spacesuits for the three spacewalks that we'll be doing. 
You can see uh, Danny and Chris are here working on their spacesuits. We worked on the suits themselves and then spent part of the day as well pulling together all the equipment that we'll need to transfer over to the space station because all three of our spacewalks will be happening out of the space station airlock. Kevin up on the flight deck. Uh, we have uh, quite a few windows that we have the opportunity to look out of. These are some of the, the video screens that we use for the robotics operations. And here's Kevin looking out the window. And in this task, he's working with the robotic arm and the big long boom that we have to work on the inspection and looking at clearance between the uh, orbiter and uh, the boom. And this is a really nice shot of the, the robotic arm attached to the boom. Here's Pat up on the flight deck, in the, actually up where the pilot and the commander sit, looking out the windows. And from every window we have a really spectacular view of the Earth that is, as well as the uh, what surprised me, the real, real blackness of space. I don't think I've ever seen black as it is out here. And now here's uh, CJ down on the mid-deck. One of the tasks that we do every day as far as maintenance goes is filter cleaning. We have to keep the air clean up here for both the systems as well as ourselves, and CJ has the vacuum working on, on the filters down here. And I got the opportunity as well to uh, use the vacuum cleaner, and it's really, really very fun. Back into spaces that you don't normally see, just to make sure it's all clean. Exploding to get to the vacuum is very fun. And here we have a shot out the window of uh, sunrise, I believe. And there's a little sensor package showing up in the in the camera view as well on, on the boom, I think, right? Okay, and here's CJ on the mid-deck. Uh, another one of the, the main tasks that we have on both Space Shuttle and Space Station is working on um, science activities. And this particular experiment is looking at, um, I think it's looking at uh, vaccines for different kinds of um, bacteria. Or I, I, actually, this is a strep one. And these experiments are always fun because we get actually some hands-on time with uh, different pieces of equipment. And Discovery, with that, uh, we have nothing further for you tonight. Thank you very much for a great day's work. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, uh, thanks a lot, Houston. Stan, it was great working with you and uh, Quasi today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.